Yes. Um, we'll start you, yes, we'll start you guys off in the uh, um, um, embassy, sitting around uh, drinking tea. Um, unless you are like, Logan, we want a mod, it'll be up to you to figure out where you want to go. If you want a mod, I will get you there. Okay. So, Mr. McKay, good to see you again. You too, Swade. How's it going? Good, good. Especially when you don't remember anything. Um, <laughs> you guys are both dressed as like uh, the uh, upper class people in the old west, like the back east kind of guys. Excellent. Mm -hmm. um, I know you've got a bit of a population problem here. Is that still going on or no? As far as I'm aware, I don't know. I'll stick my head out the door and have a look. There's people sleeping in the hallway and such. Close the door. Yes, city is still going. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we still have 800 to 1,000 odd refugees taking up. Just out of curiosity, why do they see you as being responsible for taking care of them? Uh, because they, it's just the way things are. Most people seem to see me responsible for taking care of them. What do you think? Like people, you you said people said that I'm the leader. I'm yes. not the leader. That's because most people expect me to take care of them. <laughs> because Ooh. I tend to be the one that ends up organising stuff or. Yeah, I was the one that set up the embassy. I was the one that started getting things moving on the White Dove. Gotcha. So what can we do to help expedite that? Or do you like the hordes of people living in your house? I would like to find them a new home. That is the issue, is finding them a suitable new home. All the zones that we've been to so far, none of them are suitable due to either racism against elves or um, being the zone that they had originally come from or not really being very particularly hospitable for well, people to settle. Do you like them? I mean, Raslin and I came up with a plan that we all load them back on that airship and send them through the one-way vortex. What one-way vortex? Well, remember that vortex that goes into Burlington that they used the to fly that, an airship through? The one that has like a one, big seal over it? The one that's currently sealed shut. Yeah. We want to see them go into it and see if they make it back out and what happens. Yeah, so the vortex is underwater. I know. So <laughs> <laughs> his body's face down. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm, not, I'm not into genocide. Gotcha. More I prefer, prefer to find a method. And that potentially is also why people expect me to solve it because I try and solve things without involving mass murder and genocide and skinning people etc they catch you she's just more under the indenture servitude gotcha. no no i would be quite happy if we could find a zone um where they could settle and be their own problem have you put any work towards that or not uh i've been trying to find new zones yes As any I said, every potentials anything you want to scout out recon out Unfortunately, not every zone has issues like Tri Kingdoms. And from my very brief initial look at it, initially I thought, oh, this might be promising. Whether they appear to also have the whole racism, race issue, race issue with elves. Um, I don't, yeah. So places like uh, Sherma, don't know where they would go in Sherma. A thousand people turning up in the in the year 2000, 2001. Just bring them right to the Union Station, nobody will care. Yeah, but then there's that whole thing of them being able to settle somewhere and claiming a bit of land. Um, and the fact that, some, as I said, some of them, are, they're, dem, they're, they're a mix of demi-humans as well as humans there. So, and that's, Have you that's ever the been issue. to Union Station? I don't think anybody will notice. <laughs> <laughs> Quite possibly. <laughs> I mean, one of one of the things I was hoping was that Doc Fulton would eventually turn up again, and or somebody would develop their shadow walking to the level that I know Doc has, and we would be able to shadow work walk to a land that was similar to MMO land. And then okay. once once we were there, we could then establish um, Trumps there, or being able to then shadow walk them there in groups 
So are these people expecting you to take care of them when you get them to their new home? I don't believe so. They just like they just want assistance in finding somewhere new to live. I mean, strictly speaking, I'm surprised they're not expecting Alex Kinley to do it because Alex Kinley was their demigod type thing because he was considered their saviour. So I keep it like I'm surprised they haven't been they haven't they don't keep saying, Hey, has Alex found us a new home to live? But they seem to have gotten over that since they've left MMO land. Or maybe they're actually starting to see Alex Kinley for how he really is. And they cannot permanently establish here because... Elves. How many elves are there? Um, I'm not sure what the percentage of them, but they don't want to get separated into um, multiple groups. Okay. So... Otherwise, for example, I could potentially settle some of them out in Jonestown as I've bought a house there and there's that's on a large block of land about the size of a city block that could have multiple houses built there and we could potentially pull it, pick up the manor house there and the logging station there and set them up there. But um, no. Nah. What about Cyber Hong Kong? Uh, they came from Cyber Night City. They don't want to go back to cyberpunk world okay moment so yes uh gothic's no good because gothic is a gothic has a thing against elves sweet outside you hear uh lots of different sounds of construction and stuff like that just so you know excellent um so yes gothic's no good um i mean potential women's wild west maybe maybe not we've never explored further than canada mainly because none of us have dog sledding or dog sleds um to get out of the the almost arctic area of the women's wild west which is um because it's not far northern canada we believe so, and it's perpetually in a snow blizzard sort of environment. Um, so, we even, yep, sorry, go. Oh, besides Doc Fulton, how many other doctors are amongst the Doras? Um, so, there is Dr. What's his name? There's one other doctor that I know of, um, but he's more a psychiatrist. Oh, actually, two other doctors. Although nobody would realize that one of who the other person is is actually a doctor. Uh, there is what's that, that crazy name? lady who skins people? Yes. That, that's the only doctor I would pick out of a crowd. That'd be that one. Yeah, no, she's a psychiatrist. Yeah, and the other, know some. The other <laughs> doctor, that's pretty much the route they go. Yes. The other doctor is Stephen Yang. So why don't you get these doctors together and just start doing vasectomies down the line, a little ear trimming, and then just put them into normal society? Uh, because Doras self-heal and they self and they reset. Mildred, to give you an example, Mildred had plastic surgery. It actually, it was surprising how long it took, but she reset and the plastic surgery went away. And gotcha. she went back to looking how she used to. So that, that affects the other Doras. Not just yes. the Doras, but the other other Doras. Yeah, not just not just our group, but anybody that's a Dora has um, faster healing ability in these realms. Um, one that was one thing we found is previously when there was the firewall around us, when we went through the firewall on the other side, um, the things like our speedy healing um, no longer occurred. So a lot of those effects seems to be particular to the sub shadow realms that we're within what uh, about all those the, lost civilizations like you know incas the aztecs i would just go dump all their asses off in central america somewhere yeah it's possible except central america here um has uh basically zombies and uh, sorry not zombies they uh what's the term for it they're basically possessed bodies um, the people, the local population is kept as slaves and they're possessed by some sort of ghosts or spirits. Um, I can't, there was a gold, golden ones or red eyes or something. I'd have to look. Um, so you've got a group of dwarves and elves from and humans an and, and, gnomes. Humans and gnomes from an adventuring land where they had yep. to kill for survival mm -mm. and they're, well, well, that's the thing. These, so 
when they originally went to MMO land, mm -hmm. you had all the PVP settled in one area, all the people interested in crafting and stuff settling in the other area. These are all, all the right. people that were interested in the crafting and stuff. These are not the PVPers. These are not the adventurers. These are the people that are interested in doing, you know, it's being crafting and stuff like that in an MMO. Some of them have been adventurers. Some of them know how to use a sword, etc. But they they're not, yeah, they're not your um, and all their magic users went off on a quest to find the source of magic, and only three of them survived, and those three only survived because the others found them annoying and dumped them off off the ship. Um, we could never, we were never able to find the rest of them. Uh, we suspect their flying ship crashed somewhere into the jungle, hence why we couldn't find it. Um, and the three that they dumped off were probably the three worst ones of the lot as well from a spellcast pers perspective. Hmm. So this is what we're dealing with. Yes, this, this, is, this, is, this, is, what, this is what we're dealing with. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Pretty close. I was just picturing that four tags going around underwater. <laughs> and uh, well, there, there, did, there did used to be a human meat grinder. Nice. That produced sausages. Um, there was a, at one stage, the Morlock set up a temple in Burlington and would sound their, a lot, sound their signal and basically caused all the citizens of Burlington to become hypnotized and then wander down into the temple through a gate into Night City where they had this giant meat grinder that they then made giant sausages out of them. <laughs> so, yeah, so it did used to be a meat grinder. Where is this meat grinder now? Uh, Night City got nuked. Yeah. So, hence the meat grinder is no more and that temple disappeared and uh from burlington there you go logan uh, looks gonna... like a uh, npc of the gm's choice gets five hero no and refills his hand got it uh, big black plot dildo uh -huh. uh, gonna play linguist plus five to any one language uh -huh. Now, one, with that, Logan, it doesn't say max 60, so I'm assuming that's one of the ones that you can actually raise above 60. Mm -hmm. Now, I was raising, I was actually working on one particular language with that card. There we go. I was playing the long game. So, yes. The PCs have so many fucking different languages and stuff. It's amazing. Yeah. Okay, so as of right now, you don't have any potential zones to send them through. Unfortunately not. Um, a couple of the zones we thought might have been potentials when we looked into it further or when we talked to Darius and Claire about it, Darius and Claire being the leaders of the group, um, they, yeah, after we went through the pros and cons of them, yeah, they didn't like the, they were concerned about the setup of it. So... Um, like Post-apocalyptic, for example, was one of the right. zones we thought maybe because... The human population had been decimated and stuff, so they could have potentially gone out and set up in the wilderness a bit away from the population. But um, it, I can't remember if there were actually people from post-apocalyptics actually became refugees from there and joined the MMO people. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> so you do realize that the more they build, the more this is becoming their home and the less likely they're going to leave, right? Yes. However, it's going to get to a point where they're... So, you know, one of the things that would be really nice, for example, is if there happened to be a continent equivalent to Australia on this world where they hadn't been discovered and we could get, get them there, we could somehow get them there. Right, and I brought that up to you, and you said it's not on your map. And I yes. said, did you go look? And you said, no. You said it's yep. not on my map. Yes. So did you look at other maps? So we went to, we've had a look at maps in several of the worlds that exist in what we consider the Genovia landmass mm -hmm. situation. And, um, and we've spoken, spoken to people and the landmass where Australia should be, there is no landmass. Not to say there's not something there, well, we just haven't found it. But the, problem, the other problem we have is we don't, in this land, for example, 
we don't have an ability, an easy ability to go and look. But, all right, I'm trying to understand this, and I understand what you just said here, but you keep saying you want to find a land that hasn't been discovered yet, mm -hmm. but it's not on the map, and mm -hmm. so therefore you're not going to go look. But why, how hard is it to get a boat and tootle yeah, on out I mean, there? Yes, we could do that. We could get a boat and tool on they out there. They have steamships now, right? They, yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of pulled my out of the window. Hmm? Wasn't there like a, a docks and, and shipyard here? Yeah, or something yeah like there's that? docks and shipyards here, but... But you can't get a boat? We could do that if we wanted to, yes. We could, right. if we really wanted to, we could go get a boat and we could go on a month's ocean cruise and see what we find. Excellent. I pick boat. up the uh, humidor of cigars and grab the uh, whiskey. <laughs> I'm on. Let's do it. We need to organize it first. You know, things like food, an actual boat, crew, who's going I look at the and... thousand people outside the building shit. Right? Yes. Some of them know how to man a flying ship. They don't know how to man a water ship, as far as I'm aware. And why don't we take the flying ship? Uh, because it's not here in this land. As far as I'm aware, they did not bring it with them across here. What about the flying saucer out in the shed? Uh, do you know how to fly a flying saucer? I don't. I flipped through the manual, but we could figure it out as we go. I mean, if you want to, if you want to get your, see it's if you can fly it. It's amazing how much you learn in the crisis situation. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the other thing is, as far as I'm aware, that one doesn't have fuel. It's missing a few other components too. Yes, it is. That is not where well, you've been tampering, have you? No. I just looked. Um, Okay, yes, I know it's missing. I read the manual. I'm like, oh, look, it's missing this big thing. Yes. Um, I do know, unless somebody's gone and claimed it now, I do know where another flying saucer is, which has fuel. Up in the mountain? But it's not in this realm. It's in a right. different zone. It's mm, I lighten it by having uh, one. Yes, yes, in the Slee exactly right, uh, in the Slee Stack land. I thought about that flying saucer also is something to but, retrieve but yes if we had someone who thought they could fly it then it would be a case of then we could shadow walk it back here or shadow walk it somewhere please reduce your hands down to four russ yes. uh, russ's monster is here i shall get crime scene cover up that's a great card it is and so we i'm gonna keep get out of jail free card then <laughs> um and chris and i used it to great effect but unfortunately, the little zone that we used it so in is no, more, is no more. So, well, as far as we know, it's no more. We haven't, been, we haven't, right. had, haven't been able to go so back I'll to get, it yet. I'll get rid of the flying, fa fancy flying then, and since we're getting not going to go steal a flying saucer. <laughs> I was Russ, ready. Could you, could you say something, Russ, see if you're getting picked up? Hello? Hello. Hello? You're coming in kind of echoey and stuff again. Like the mics, I'm loading StreamYard. My mic works just fine, but StreamYard maybe doesn't. Here we it go. Maybe using a different mic than what you think it's using, also, if it's possible. There are, there are no other mics, yeah. That would be mm -hmm. a good idea, but nope. Nope. And he's gone again. He'll be back. So. So, yes, so we could get a boat and try and go on an ocean cruise and see if we could find a landmass that is Australia. Oh, why don't you go out there and commission a ship, get your crew ready, and... Okay, how about that? And give us something to do okay. next year. Same. Same. Uh, it's listenable, but it's not as good as it uh, was in the past. All right, let me see if I can adjust the position. Why the hell is this thing... Actually, it's not bad. I would probably leave it where it is because otherwise it will, yeah. Oh, yeah. You may eventually need a mic what, like what these guys have or something. I do not know. Yeah. We want to hear your, your sultry voice talking sweet, sweet Smurf. <laughs> I'm going to try switching over. Did that work? What, do you, what are you guys hearing? I did notice a slight change when you switch, but could you talk a little bit more, please, Russ? Okay, yeah, I'll talk a little bit more. Um, 
let's see. What I did was I switched over to the Microsoft Communications. Um, yeah, sounds good. Yeah, okay, cool. Good. Yeah, cool. It, it does All actually right. sound a little bit better. Or I can click Disable Audio Processing. Let's see if this sounds any better. Does it sound any better? Um, I think so. I'm talking now. Does that help at all? It's a bit it's softer. Sounded. A bit softer, but I don't know if that's because you're talking softer or it's actually made your voice softer. No, no, that's that's the audio processing. Okay. I like I, I like it before a little bit better. Can you make it sound a little more smurfy? Mm. <laughs> yes, I probably can. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll be my desktop straightened out here. Cool. Well, he does so, that. Just so yes, you know, we, we're all sitting on a, uh, a steamer ship and going exploring for continents that may or may not be there. Will be a large adventure that Logan needs to. Prep. I agree. I agree completely. That's why I said get a commission now and we can do it next year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, the, in the style of the time, uh, having actually read a book about Roosevelt going and exploring uh, one of the tributaries of the Amazon. Your first step is to find the most incompetent person you can and get them to arrange what to pack, such as the presidential wine selection, et cetera, et cetera. Just all kinds of really stupid shit nobody in their right mind would bring with them. That's and why I grabbed the cigars and the whiskey first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were used to travel. <laughs> all right, let me draw up. I mean, they... Ireland. Drop them off in Ireland. Now, now yeah. you're just being mean. I mean, these are <laughs> nice people. Okay. So, the possible, the other possibility would be so, goth, so Gothic is a similar world to this. What's this? In regards, as far as we can tell, it's it, if you look at the and if you look at the timeline in Gothic, it's like this. This, if you assume that these are humans and not beast kin, that this is in the past of Gothic. Why don't you well, slide sitting it around in the embassy? You're dressed uh, like uh, one of the talking back east with fancy clothes and stuff like that. Just so you're aware, Russ. Okay, cool. Sorry, Sway. Oh, why don't you just lie to them, tell them you found the perfect spot for them, and just uh, go dump them back home? And uh, getting them there is the challenge. I can no longer create gates for a start, so that sort gotcha. of stops me opening a gate or turning a getting a gate pointed back to there. Hmm. So I'm assuming they came here by clems a trickle at a time. Like yeah, no people. So yes. wait, all right. So the MMO people are on like your chunk of land, which is owned by the embassy, right? Yes. How and large is the rest up. of the town? I don't know. It seems to grow every time I'm here. Time, to, time doesn't seem to work. Time seems to be accelerated for certain things. So for six six months may pass, but outside it's almost like a year, two years have passed sometimes with the way changes happen. Right. And so, um, so I don't know at the moment how big of how big San Angeles is. So if we use a little biological agents, it will accelerate the decrease in population, and then your MMO people with their improved resistances can expand out into <laughs> this, yeah, the MPC. This, yes, but a couple of things. This is not the only base kin city or Biskin town on this landmass. Um, the other ones, but the fact that there's elves here, then that may cause an issue with the Biskin then deciding that humans are allied with the elves. And then means that the Australians are allied with the elves and that'll make relationships a bit tricky. <laughs> a bit. Um, sure glad I'm not an ambassador. Yep. <laughs> um, so yes. But yeah, I was just going to say the other thing we could do, although I think, I don't know how what the top speed of a flying car is, is that in Gothic, you could potentially get a flying car and then fly. And I, don't think the, I don't think the flying cars have got the speed to make that worthwhile. 
the the other thing you could do is we could go to somewhere where if we had someone who could pilot an airplane or something or a fast moving craft helicopter i could pilot a helicopter yeah but i don't think the helicopter's got the flight range what's the mm. flight range of a helicopter good question it's not real good yeah so we're talking about for example going to see if australia exists oh and because as far as we're aware australia doesn't exist on well from all the maps i've looked at in the various genovian based worlds there is no australian continent that we haven't actually gone and physically checked it out ourselves to see is it actually there hidden or is it actually there and nobody's but discovered it for whatever reason or what right uh, plus pete give me a uh, memory roll on something else memory. Don't forget the ISO trucks. Oh, yes, I hadn't forgotten about the ISO trucks. Yes, but you haven't briefed Ralph on the, or Swain on the ISO trucks. No, no, so I have not. That Swain is true. Is not knowing of that yet. That is I, true. I don't think I know either. Oh. Um, so think um, Starship Troopers, mm -hmm. giant insects, the ISO yeah. trucks. So in the Genovian worlds, I don't know if I, I don't recall it being so much of an issue in Gothic. Or it maybe just it just hasn't come up, but in here and in Malwix, the human version of this world, um, they've got a big thing against the Izo trucks, which seems to be large insects that travel in swarms and stuff. And the last time we were in Malwix, there was rumours that um, there was a Izo trucks incursion nearby somewhere. Um, in the water and they needed someone to, so it's possible Australia's out there, but it's inhabited by the ESO trucks. Right. Um, because assumedly they're coming from somewhere. You're right. Yeah. We should just never go look. <laughs> I'm not saying we don't go. If we don't look, look, they're not there. <laughs> No, I'm just saying it's just something else that needs to be considered about, especially if you go sailing across large bodies of water mm. that is potentially going to cause us grief, especially with the way the gods are so fickle in these worlds. Um, so, yes. So, Dems be some of the challenges. Okay. Okay. At some point in this episode, I'm going to eat this delicious cupcake right in front of everybody. Oh, so you. just wait for it. <laughs> you monster. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, yes. So what else is pending that we can actually take care of? So, uh, let's see. So things I've noted down that I thought we could potentially look into. Uh, continue the New Sun investigation. Mm-hmm look into the large hole in the ground at Johnstown, which I believe there is something something to be checked out. It's not just a hole in the ground. Yes. Uh, go and see what's happening in Melwix or post-apocalyptic. Uh, tr try and go to the Tower of Ides and see if the Eye of the Unicorn's there. Uh, check out, see if we can find more about the mould issue that was getting looked into in... Uh, for, for us, I should say, mm -hmm. by the um, shadow versions of a couple of our group. Um, and there could be others, but off the top of my head, there are just some of the things I had that could potentially be looked into. It just depends on what people are feeling like doing and what what is in, what people are interested in looking into. And anyway, each one, each one's got pros and cons about them. Obviously, whatever tickles that guy up there, Logan. What guy? Oh no, you guys do whatever the fuck you want. I am ready. All right. Except for a giant sea voyage across the fucking. <laughs> I have no idea. The problem, the problem I've got with prepping something like that is that unless the player see um, for wandering around, prep normally follows action. Because 
Otherwise, you'd be amazed how many times people have said, we should go do this. Definitely go do this. And I prep it. They never go and do it. Never. I, sit like, in this well, chair. I sit in this chair and Logan says, I've got a voyage to a continent that may or may not exist. I'm in. So yeah, okay. whenever I'm in the chair, I will go. <laughs> completely ready. I'm not sure what it's meant by the mold part. Mold? Um, in Vorox, when... The, there was an a, there was a UFO that was abducting people. Oh, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. yeah, that. Do you know what I mean now about, about the mold issue? Okay, I, I'd like to know what you mean about the mold. Uh, were you intending to re, to run that adventure again? Before no, I don't think I can pull that one off again. So you you are okay. free to discuss that. All right. So we were hired. Um, are you two familiar with Voras and yes. the Silistak civilization there? Yes. All right, so we were hired by the agency to look into some alien abductions that were occurring. Um, when we looked into them, people were getting abducted and probed. And when we turned up, um, it was myself, Mildred, and Freddie Aeolus. And w we went to a, um, what do you call it? A, not a, a, a sort of like a survivor support group type thing, as in people had been abducted. And when we walked into the room, they freaked out. One guy jumped out the window, viscerating himself and killing himself. The others went into a kind of tonic state, except for a couple of them, uh, which made us suspect. And, you know, they were sort of pointing and gasping and then collapsed. Uh, and since they were pointing in our direction, right. we surmised that, yeah, well, the first thought was, what's Freddie done this time? Um, but no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, it was actually Mildred they were freaking out about. So cut a long story short, I got abducted. Unfortunately, I didn't resist the drugs. We then meant we, we managed to triangulate and find where the UFO was coming from. And it turned out there was a good version of Doc Fulton and a good version of Mildred. You know, they had the goatees, etc. both Mildred and Doc Fulton. Um, they were abducting people and alien probing them to see if they were infected with, uh, I think it was a mold or a bacteria, I'll have to look at my notes again, and to work out the area and what the source was to isolate it down. And thus, that is, there is a cave with a UFO parked there, unless they've come back and grabbed it, and um, some large containers of alcohol, unless Mildred or Alex have gone skipping gleefully there and drank it all. As well as, I think it was 27 alien probes or something. something Jeez. Like that anyway. And that's the good versions of them? They're, they're abducting people and checking them for mold? <laughs> Try, trying to find some nasty mold or something that they need. Uh, 27 alien probes it was. All right. Fully functioning, fully a fly, a fully a working alien spaceship um, that the weapons are missing. The tractor beam works for abducting people. The nav system was offline. Um, but yes, uh, an evil fungus. They're trying to work out the epicenter of an evil fungus. And the only way to do it was with the probe, apparently. So that's what the fungus, that's what that one was about. As far as I know, nobody's looked into it. Um, when we were in Johnstown recently, there was an issue with crows attacking people if they left the town, which we dealt with. But there was also, we found a large pit there that there was something about it that we believed that um, needed further investigation. Oh, do you have the amulet? Uh, no, Mr. Crow King, I kill people and eat their hearts, have it. Oh, great. <laughs> so when are we going to kill Alex? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yes. So we don't need to worry about the crows or the ravens or whatever. Um, now, that's why it's the good Mildred, not the evil Mildred. Not our Mildred. That's why it was the good Mildred. Yeah, yeah. That's the saying. The, the real ones would skin people alive. <laughs> and... Yes, yes. You know, so Alex would be know. screwing the corpses and, you know, I mean. So we're on the bad guy team, right? Is that what you're talking no, about? No, no, we're not on the bad guy team. Just some of our some of our people uh, are a bit more grayer than others. Yeah, and slightly more crazy than others as well. 
they got pills for that. Um, yes. But yes. Um, yeah, they're on their leg. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. They wouldn't come with a priming cartridge, and exactly. I, I was going to go with that one. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't consider us the bad guy. People we've done things to save the multi zones, etc., several times, and yeah. But then again, some of us is all, have also murdered eight people for Dragon Don, who are running a counterfeiting operation. So, you know. Well, yeah. I, I decided to be good, that. but mostly because I don't lose my mind then. Mm-hmm. So let's do something good because I'm losing my mind. Gray, gray would be a better way of describing it, but yes. Um, so that's what the fungus is about. The Tower of Eyes, as I said, is where we where we're wondering if because of the whole thing about the eyes have it, etc. Possibly that is where the eye of the unicorn or whatever the hell the other jewel is. Okay. And Freddy, Freddy can knock that out. Um, but that one is. Um, from memory of the world of where the, the land that we were in where it is it's uh more towards the courts of chaos because it was a bit more chaotic than normal places um yes melwicks and post apoc i've noted them down simply because i don't know if anybody's checked them out recently so i've got no idea what the situation is with them i certainly right. haven't been to them for several months and I have not seen anybody posting, writing about them um, to say that they've been there and this is what the current situation here is in those two lands. Um, well, so I don't know what's... a couple of heroes already working on uh, taking care of the mold problem. We could just let that one go. And then... Uh... Oh, yes, leave it up to our alter egos. That's... <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, why don't we... Uh... You want to go check out the hole? I mean, yeah, we can check out the hole. I'm sure we're geared and ready for that, right? Uh, we possibly are. Let me just double check my gear. Uh, zone storage. I don't know if I've noted it there or if it's on my character sheet. Yeah, that's something I lost all my gear last episode. So, um, oh, did you? That's not good. Uh, are we? Are yeah? We should be role playing this, right? Always. Yeah. Yeah. Always. Okay. So, as in, right. in um, Hong Kong or China? I, I lost all my gear in Hong Kong when the dog came after me and the other the other people, um, I don't remember their names, uh, they, were, they, they were convinced that throwing away the dog statue would do something, and I knew it wouldn't, but, you know, they, they fucking threw the thing out the window. And um, <laughs> rather than dump the pack, they threw my entire pack out the window where it landed on some uh, triad members driving a car, fell through their windshield and caused them to crash into a telephone pole where it exploded, along with the big chunks of Chris that were also in my pack. Um, so um, I was only, I, I've been knocked down to body, uh, with stuff I was carrying on my body and I stuff I was carrying in my pack. So um, I could use a pistol, I could use uh, body armor, and I have no Shermer or Morass cash because the detective agency didn't pay me last time because I was new. And so I'm wondering if anybody's got Shermer or Morass cash and if I can tool up. As a reminder, by the way, the hole is in the same zone you are now. Yeah. Right. Which means no Uzi, that kind of stuff, because even the modern climbing gear, I'm a little worried about. So I have a hundred meters of climbing rope, a bag with pitons, harness, ascenders, descenders, etc. Right, but are they rope. are they the kind of things you'd find in this zone? No, they're modern twenty first century, but I've already used them in this zone. Okay. Mildred, Alex, and I used them to descend a very in the sewers underneath here. We used it. That's how we got. That's how we got to the place to get to the um, halfway in. Okay. We used we used to get as well as gas masks, um, but um, then went back and collected it. And nobody, so nobody in the zone witnessed you using it, though. No, no, we're in the well. Where the hole is in the ground is in the middle of the forest, so nobody would witness us using it. And the gear is innocuous enough that it's not screaming electronics or anything. So I think it would be okay. Okay, all right. I'm not quite sure about the MIB rules. 
uh, when they come, it, when they don't. It I, depends on how obvious it is when it's electronic stuff, like flying a helicopter in towards um, <laughs> the city that attracts them. Well, yeah, I see. I could see that with, if you somehow got a helicopter to Furry Western, yeah, I could see that being a problem. Yeah. So how, yeah. how large is Freddie and I did. Uh, how large was it, Logan? Pretty fucking big. Um, you could probably, you could easily uh, toss like a bus into it. Wow, that's some hole. Big bus, maybe even a train. You're not really sure. You you didn't see the bottom of it. I don't think anybody no. looked really hard, but you didn't see. No, the no, no. After almost falling, after almost getting drawn to jump into it, so I just. Oh yeah, to go. You, you definitely know that the bottom is a lot deeper than the light would go. Yeah. Yeah. I, after after um, Maddox pulled me away from the edge with his grapple hook, I decided <laughs> not to go back and look down into it. Yeah. Okay. On the uh, new sun issue, uh, we did discover that he's mm. he's involved in a corporation called New World Industries. Mm -hmm. Has anybody looked into them? Uh, new World Industries were the people that bought out the well, a subsidiary of New World Industries, I think through some shell companies, um, was the company that bought out the MMO company in Night City that had all the cryopods that the people that are refugees here, um, the their fuck? actual real bodies in Night City. Um, so got hold of their cryos and their bodies and then um, their bodies started disappearing they started disappearing as their bodies were taken offline and generally being experimented on and stuff. Mm -hmm. Now that that's the most recent encounter. Now I, um, in my previous occupation, uh, I've, I've read some stuff about some certain subsidiaries of them doing experiments with Shugniverse milk. Um, Dramatic thing been. here, yes. <laughs> um, uh, here you go. Um, you know, they're, they're basically a pro Mifos cult running an organization, running a um, corporation for NAST for. Um, I can't remember it's Nolafatep or who it was I was trying to bring back, but um, yeah. Okay, so New Sun might lead us to New York, New, New World Industries, but New, York, New, New World Industries isn't like we'll be yielding information about New Sun. Probably not. Um, right. So it's quite, I mean, it's quite possible that New Sun is the big end. That's kind of racist. As in, he's could he could be an avatar for Neural Afetep. Oh, okay. Yes, not not okay. from a race. Not, not, not yeah, that big end. Got it. Not okay. that big end, but the <laughs> but the um, the <laughs> outer the outer god is he or whatever he is, um, great old one Neural Afetep. Neural uh, Yes. Yes, he is. Uh, he is one of the old gods. Yes. Yes. Um, so as I remember. Like, yeah, so it's quite possible New Sun is actually one of his avatars. So, um, oh. Or he is going to be the vessel for him. So do we have, like, Elder Signs kitted up and stuff? Nope. That might um, be a good idea. I don't know anyone that knows how to make them. Do you? Um, Freddy and... I don't remember who else it was solved. Uh, I think it was Alex solved the murder mystery and there was an elder sign on the zombie. So okay. if Freddie or Alex can remember it, um, they know what an elder sign looks like. Oh, I've seen elder signs. I know what it looked like. And Doc right. had a glove enchanted with an elder sign so he could fight a shug off. But unfortunately the mages that enchanted that, created that elder sign enchanted it or went off to look for the source of magic and never came back. Right. Um, right. When you explore, you never come back. Uh, it, I mean, it's quite possible that the agency in 
Vorush, the, yeah. the the people there that read the books and stuff, some of them may know how to create an elder sign. Yeah, El, uh, Henry Young um, is he he's the one who helped me identify what the dog statue was. So he's got some mythos, and I asked him if he could lift the curse, and he says he has dispellers on call who would be probably well briefed in mythos. Okay, so. The question is, um, what was the statue of? I know it was a Chocho -cho statue. It was a Chocho -cho statue. Um, yeah, he wanted me to specify which. I, I told him what it was, and he wanted me to specify which particular dog with wings deity. So I'm a little confused about that because that seemed kind of distinctive, but apparently there's <laughs> multiples. So he wasn't aware of a particular one that the Cho Cho may be associated. No, no, it was, it was a Cho Cho. Yeah, it was a Cho Cho statue. But we did, we did determine that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but he couldn't tell you which dog with wings. No, he couldn't tell me which which dog with wings. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. It seems like there should be, you know, two, not so many that he needs to know which dog with wings. But apparently, there's many dogs with wings. Um, he wanted to know which elder god, and apparently it was associated with some elder god because his dispellers could not uh, do anything about it. Okay. So, what did you guys want to do? Uh, I'd like to investigate your son, honestly. Okay. Um, the only problem with that is Hong Kong has basically exploded. Um, I not not mean, literally exploded. I mean, it's just, you know, there's a full-scale war going on in Hong Kong. You mentioned having a Trump for mainland? Uh, yeah, but I gave that to, um, I gave that to, uh, uh, what's Jason's character? Raslin Red. I yeah. gave that to Raslin Red. Um, okay. because he was very and keenly interested in, in exploring uh, mainland China. So, okay, okay. So that's probably not gonna, because I'm just concerned that from what you guys had said about the way Hong Kong is, if we did get to, assuming our Trumps work for that hotel and hasn't been taken destruct, tra taken um, damage, um, that getting out of Hong Kong will be a challenge in on itself. I don't know how did you guys get out of Hong Kong? Did you go to the airport or did you get a boat? We trumped out. How did you trump out? How did you get to the mainland from Hong Kong? Oh, oh, from, from Hong Kong. I'm sorry. Mainland from Hong Kong, we, um, um, Raslin had, con no, I'm sorry. Um, Col Colburn had contracts and he called them and they brought us a car and they drove us out of the main, uh, out of Hong Kong into the mainland. Okay. So using the bridge or whatever. Yeah. Okay. But yes, as I said, my, my concern would be that if if we don't have the Trump for China, that's... No, no, I gave that to Raslin, so yeah. um, we'd have to get there through Hong Kong probably. Okay. So what are your thoughts, Sway? Are you curious to investigate that further or do you just want to go check out the hole? I'm up for uh, take out Chinese and hookers, whatever you guys want to do. <laughs> it's the only good thing I've found in Hong Kong so far. Mm -hmm. I, it is quite possible that we'll find all the information we have is just dead ends anyway. So I'm not sure where else it'll go. Right. Well, basically, all we've got is New World Industries. There's no. Well, there's the sister in. Lee, the there's, yeah, there's the Forbidden City. Yeah, that's. Yeah. That's it. Um, just real fast, I'm sorry to intervene here, but did you ever okay. think about taking all your MMO people and pushing them through the pattern and just seeing which ones were worth keeping? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's... You just know, throw it out there. No, 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 no. I mean, if, if some of... We were trying to... Well, the thing was is that we were trying to re, trying not to have too many people walk the new... walk the pattern that Doc created because... There was concerns that the more people that walked it, 
the more effect it would have, the more the more destabilizing the right. balance would be because the pattern would have more people walking it. It causes imbalance to the point that somebody who's interested in keeping the balance and has a yin yang sign with an infinity sign uh, over it is now keenly interested in us. I, I, I've got to imagine that they're uh, the equalizing forces of neutrality or something. Um, we've also we're also under constant surveillance. And um, so I assume there are Amberites watching us or someone from some higher shadow who is concerned that we are screwing up. You're, you sound like you're gearing up to walk the Logris, uh, Joshua, is that right? Um, not so much as opposed to getting my original form back. I believe there may be somewhere along the shape changing tree that may assist me in doing that oh okay because we posited that walking logris might bring things back into order but right now it seems like chaos is really pissed and trying to take over mm -hmm. various areas that they were not bothering with and so um, so my the the issue i had the big issue is that walking having walked the perhaps pattern any of us that have walked the pattern, walking the logress is going to be harder. Yes. Yes, and joy. Since, and since I don't feel comfortable in even being able to rewalk a pattern currently after having been reset, <laughs> there's no way I feel that I would be ready to walk a logress. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so, so while I like might the have the, so is, it, is it about walking the logress to restore balance for a number of people that have walked it? Or is it more about creating a second logress? It's possibly either, but to create a second logress, if it's anything like creating the pattern, you have to walk the, well, to, to create the pattern, you had to walk the pattern within the dual of judgment to become um, not aligned with it, not focused with it, uh, attuned to it, mm -hmm. to be able to then use it to create a new pattern. So. I'm assuming you would not be able to create a logarithm without having walked it. Again, it's assumptions that may not be. Then may, maybe you can create it without walking it. But right. again, but where would we find that information out? Well, unless we decide to do a massive shadow walk to courts of chaos. How who, do you remember the the original pattern that uh, Fiona had us walk? Does anybody uh, the, determine who made that? The well, we believe that. Uh, the, the pattern that's within Castle Lamba, we believe uh, Dworkin made that. Well, okay. actually, depending on the stories, the pattern in the Castle Amber is actually a shadow of the actual prime pattern, which exists in one, which exists in the the actual prime realm as such, which right. is one level up, up beyond the um, Castle Lamba. Swade may know more about it due to his background. Um, hey Pete, here's a good card. Double critical range. I don't know if you want to throw something out that's junky. Uh, I don't um, need it. Yeah, hang on a second. I've got. Since you're in charge, you might need a little extra boost. <laughs> um, what's your cards like, uh, Russ? Have you got crap cards or good cards? Uh, I've got very good cards. I've got upon it fails, reroll, limited retrieve, slip up, victory, skill plus fifteen. And you got to, and throw I have out, to discard though. two. Yeah, yeah. I've I've got to discard three cards. 